I was like, is there something else that like would resonate more? Something that would capture people a little bit more than trial and error. And one time I just laid down, I, I closed my eyes. And as soon as I closed my eyes, I heard misunderstood. But I, when I seen it in my head, it had two S's. It wasn't spelled regular. And the, the two S's just symbolizes like, I used to be a missus. Like I used to be married, mm -hmm. you know. I'm free now. Of course, I'm in a happy relationship. We, we're not married yet. I am a miss. And the miss just symbolizes like my, like my new journey, my new life. Like I, you know, that's the past and this is the new life. Misunderstood mm -hmm. overall. Like I feel like I'm a misunderstood person. I didn't say things online that I didn't mean no harm, no intention, no bad intentions. And people still misconstrued it. Misunderstood me. Um, misunderstand me as an artist. Like sometimes when I put out music and like I write a song, you know, um, nowadays, people think it's automatically about my life and my relationship and, and, you know, apply it to me when I'm just trying to be an artist and trying to just hop into different bags and write about different topics. Um, I'm just a, a very, you know, misunderstood person. I feel like I, sometimes I can't, I can't really describe it, but I feel like I am. Um, the people outside of my fan base seems to misunderstand me the most. Mm -hmm. do you think um i mean you mentioned that you write about different things and i know a lot of people do that but what what gets you or what inspires you to write things that are not directly about your life like do you see movies or other people's lives and kind of put yourself in their shoes or where do you pull from you ever like you ever thought of something in your head and it could just be me i could just be weird you ever thought of something in, in your head, like a scenario that wasn't even true or never happened, but you got sad or mad at it? No, yeah, all the time. You do? <laughs> Insecurities, and I'm like, oh, there's a whole alternate universe in my head yeah, right now. Yeah, that's the same thing. It's like writing. So I can think of something that happened like, oh, uh, God forbid, but like something very bad happened. I could just get sad. Like, mm -hmm. I, I could just cry. It didn't even happen. I'm just crying. Mm -hmm. So that's the same with music that combined with um meeting with other writers you know when i first yeah. when i first uh signed to a label i was like yeah i'm gonna write all my music because no i'm trying to show people i can write da, da, da. and i did i did write majority of my album but as time went by i was just like no i'm gonna be open to it because it doesn't take away my talent or my gift it's just someone else's you know, giving me uh, new concepts or, you know, I only know what my mind can think of. Mm -hmm. If someone else comes in and gives me something that's great and I could put it into my own words, you know, or like make it more me, you know. So that's what I did with the songs that don't relate to me. Like, Delight of Me, the, that hook was written by London J. Mm. I took, I took the, from the hook and I put myself in the shoes of a hook, Love Me Good and Lie to Me. It really was Fuck Me Good and Lie to Me, but I changed it. But um, cause I don't I don't want to be so vulgar. But then I I added then I added my verse. I added my mm -hmm. verse to how like how would I feel if I was in this position? And you know we just kind of it's like an effort of like a combined effort, you know? Yeah, you're like mutually inspiring each other and just kind of. Am I like super zoomed in? <laughs> yeah. Really? Like, Why? I don't know. You can't see yourself? No, I feel like I'm normal. No, I mean, no, not, now you're normal. That's because I pushed away. Now I got to do it like this. <laughs> no, I mean, you still look beautiful. It's fine. It's fine. It, but yeah, it was like, it was, a, it was a nice tight shot. We got, we got the full. Ew, no, I don't want people to see me up that close. <laughs> you have a filter on. You're fine. Ew. You, look per you look perfect. I swear. Um, let <laughs> me see what else. Okay. I have some like rapid fiery questions for you and then I'll. Oh, I'll shoot. Your way. Let's the chair. Let's make right. the chair. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shoot. Um, what's your most irrational fear? Ir irrational fear? Bees. I cannot stand bees. They scare me so bad. Yo, when I, when I see a bee, like when I see a bee, right. don't like that. Everything else just goes out the window. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not holding on. If I see a bee, I'm throwing my food. I'm throwing anything. Like, if I'm driving and a bee's in the car, oh, like, no. I don't know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And airplanes. And, and, and getting on airplanes, I can't help it. But I wonder if it's just me. But, like, when I get on airplanes, I don't know why I do stupid stuff. Like, look up, like, plane, 
Never mind, I ain't gonna say it. But I just, planes are scary, bro. Like, just think about it. Like, you're in a, this is abnormal. We're just in the sky. Like, no one's supposed to be in a big, giant, like, long submarine looking thing. I still don't understand how they work, to be quite honest. I don't but. either. Like, I really don't. I, and, and I can't believe that we actually trust a stranger to fly us in the sky. But, like, we really have to trust someone. We don't even know what they've been doing. <laughs> we just get on the plane like, oh, yeah. You know? Say and our prayers, in the air, just like, where are we going? No, that's so true. I just, like, try not to think about it. I get on and I just go to sleep immediately. Yeah, like, it's scary. I'll do that. I'll sit <laughs> Um, any random or useless talents? Like, are you, like, double-jointed or anything? Weird. Can you whistle real loud? I can't whistle at all. Or dance. Um, what is a different talent I can do? Oh, I, um, you know, I, I can make different voices. Like impressions or, like, like cartoony type voices? Cartoon voices, like. You, want to do it. <laughs> you can't not do it now. You want me to do a cartoon version? Yes. I know it's good. You've got kids. You probably do it for them all the time. Yo, I could talk like a little girl. <laughs> I could do an old woman. Go for it. Oh my God. No, I'm like, I'm scared. But I do this on Amazon Music. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to. You don't have to. Yeah. I I, watch one of my YouTube videos. I promise I'll do it there. Okay. Fair enough. Um... <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to share with the audience before I let you go, other than listen to your amazing album? Other than listen to my album, so you know I was about to say that. <laughs> um, man, I don't, I don't know. I, I, this is what I want to share. Um, actually, right now, I actually have nothing to say, but I'm going to think about it really quick because I do want to leave off with something. Um, okay. Everybody that's in the comments right now, I just want you guys to know your time will come, you know. Um, for the longest, like after after I set after I had my baby, I really thought I really thought I fell off bad. Like I thought everybody forgot about me. I thought I wasn't going. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Like I was just scared. Um, but my time came when it was supposed to. You know, I seen people passing me up, and I felt left out. Um, but it came, and, and I dropped a beautiful album. And I want you guys to do the same for whatever your dream is in life you know um don't give up stay humble always and yeah pretty much stay humble keep keep chasing your dream keep chasing each other this is a beautiful message and amazing advice thank you so much and thank you for the amazing album and enjoy thank you for listening thank you for having me of course enjoy the rest of your day i sure will bye, -bye.